As part of Clean BC, the province's climate plan, government, architects, engineers, and builders are committed to improving the energy efficiency of buildings. Clayton Community Centre is the first of its kind, designed to be net zero energy ready to meet the top step of the BC Energy Step Code, which was introduced in 2017. The City of Surrey opted to pursue Passive House certification, making it Canada's largest Passive House facility to date. The City of Surrey wanted to go farther than we had before in energy use, as we had gone um, to high performance building standards, but not seen the results that we were expecting. So we, as a city, wanted to make sure that we found a way to do better than we had. Passive House is recognized internationally as one of the best ways to build for comfort, affordability, and energy efficiency. Some of the innovations around the community centre was that it's actually bringing together arts and culture programming, uh, recreation programming, and a branch library. How to integrate those program offerings in a really kind of holistic, almost like a Rubik's Cube instead of co-locating them. The Passive House integrated design process involves every key sub-consultant at the beginning, which allows for a more collaborative approach to solving problems. It's more of a partnership between the contractor, the architect, the key consultants and the key subcontractors with the owner to create a process where everyone takes the risk on together. The architects, working alongside the builder, the mechanical engineers, the electrical engineers, building science engineers, and the client, built iterative models to inform every step of the process using the Passive House Planning Package, or PHPP. Because we've spent so much uh, effort during the design stage carefully specifying products and then inputting that information into the PHPP model, I would say in some ways what we've done as a design team is really design in real time a building that we know will be capable of becoming Passive House certified. Passive House design standards actually created a really iterative design system where we had to make decisions and we could see those decisions through modeling really quickly. To meet the stringent energy efficiency requirements of a Passive House certification, the early modeling must incorporate every variable for energy use. I don't think I've ever seen a, you know, architects actually as, as deeply engaged in, in the energy performance of a building, right? You know, to working with all the user groups, figuring out, you know, okay, what equipment have you got? How long are you gonna be operating it? How many people are gonna be in the building? how many photocopiers, how many kettles they might have in the kitchen, literally, uh, and be inputting that into our model. We found that actually because the occupant load of the centre was so high, unlike residential, it's unpredictable and it's happening very early hours to late hours of the day, the heat that's coming off of primarily people but also some of the equipment in the building itself was enough to heat this building all year round with almost no requirement for cooling. Sourcing the right energy efficient construction materials is also an important consideration for meeting Passive House requirements. We're really benefited by having Elston work with us early to figure out what are the suppliers. We're able to set up management controls to manage the budget, drive design details and constructability. Educating the subtrades early on in budgeting was uh, key. There has been a higher level of buy-in from the subtrades because all of us and, and envelope included because all of us have uh, a vested interest in meeting that performance requirement. As the BC Energy Step Code comes into effect, governments and their institutional buildings are primed to lead the way in higher standards for the built environment. There's one thing building efficient buildings, but there's another thing to actually build a beautiful energy efficient building. And I think that's one of the things that uh, is so captivating about this project. It's also day-to-day -day the place that people meet their neighbours, they make connections, that they are actually building community capacity. Having that social and environmental link together in one place, it, it's, it's just hitting all the marks. I think it's essential that municipalities lead the way with low energy projects and the step code obviously is, is a great thing that's going to help us do that. We can do this. We can make buildings more energy efficient. Passive House really sets that, uh, that benchmark. You can have beauty and efficiency um, all in the, same, uh, in the same project. So what's the next building type? Schools to me seem like just such a low hanging fruit. I just want it in five years for it to be, pass fails to be more the norm in complex building types.